last 16 or a quarter final match. Now, the Welsh rugby regions may be out of Europe, but Pontypridd Rugby Club are flying the flag and play in one of their most important games in a decade tomorrow afternoon. A bumper crowd is expected at Sardis Road to watch them take on Leinster A in the semi-final of the British and Irish Cup. Will the side are being put through their paces in final training tonight, and Jordan Davis is there for us. Jordan. Claire, hello. Welcome to Sardis Road, otherwise known as the House of Pain. As you say, the players have been put through their, their final paces ahead of that crunch match with Leinster A tomorrow. All we've got to do now is wait for the 5,000 people to turn up, fill this stadium and the marquee, and it'll be a chance for this famous old club to relive some of its glory days. I'm joined now by Geraint Lewis and Geraint Walsh. Uh, Geraint Walsh, if I could start with you, you're a player here. I mean, this really tops off uh, an excellent season for you. Yeah, we've been have been an amazing season so far. Um, the club's never made it through the final of this competition before, so uh, if we can do that, yeah, it'll be pretty special. It will be a, a tough task, though. They've, they've got a fantastic squad. Everybody knows about Leinster. Um, how are you approaching this game? Yeah, well, we all know they've got a lot of experience in their squad. They played professional, like Rabo Direct, a lot of appearances. So, um, well, I think we've just got to go at them, to be honest. We're quite, quite confident. I haven't beaten them last year, so um, I think we just got to go all out here. And we can see training behind us. Uh, how's it been so far? Yeah, it's right, nice and light tonight, obviously, because the game's tomorrow, so it's just a jog through to make sure everything's uh, spot on. Uh, Geraint, you'll remember the glory days, the mid-90s. Uh, it's a chance, maybe, to, to recapture some of that if we get 5,000 people here as well. Yeah, it should be a tremendous occasion tomorrow, and, uh, you know, the atmosphere, as always, at Sardis Road is, is really good. You know, we get tremendous support, and that, and that hasn't changed from the, from the mid-90s. And, um, you know, in all fairness to the boys, they've given the, you know, our support plenty to cheer about in the last few years, and uh, through their hard work and the quality of their play. And we're looking forward to, for what I said, it should be an electric atmosphere tomorrow. And is it the same old faces from those, those glory days that are still supporting you? Yeah, it definitely is. You know, uh, at the end of the day, they're born and bred in Pontypridd and in the nearby areas, and that's it's his tradition. That's you know, that's that's their club, and you know, we're very thankful for the for, for the support they give us. It is worth it. You know, a good few points for us uh, throughout the season, and um, you know, I'm sure they're looking forward to it as much as anyone. And uh, you know, to host a team of Leinster's calibre, their A team here uh, tomorrow, you know, makes it a very special occasion. And I suppose the added incentive because it's a home tie, if you win. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, to, as Geraint said, you know, we we haven't uh, qualified for the final before, and you know, knowing the carrot of being a, having a home final would be uh, absolutely tremendous. But you know, we're under no illusions about the you know enormity of the task tomorrow facing uh, you know facing the side of Leinster's quality. But you know, it'd be nice if we could make it. Well, gents, thanks very much. Uh, a chance to relive the glory days here. Five thousand people should be a good game. We wish them the very best of luck, Jordan. Thank you very much.